And what, five? My that was not bad. Was five in a row? Whether a combo is optimal or not. I have a 90 damage Brian combo that comes out pretty quick, but I never see pros use it. What makes a combo optimal? Full combo is 3, 3, 2 greater than F1 plus 2 greater than 1, 2, 4 greater than dash greater than B3 greater than Mist step greater than 2, <laughs> 1. Dude. <laughs> yeah, Alright, alright, let's just take a second here and try and uh, decrypt what this stoner is trying to say here. Ranchia23, thanks. Deceptio, thanks very much. Absolutely not, says uh, optimal or not. Look, the people choose combos based on two things. The amount of damage they do and the rate at which they can consistently hit these combos in a real match. Now, whether a real match is online or in a tournament is up to the player. But the two things that make you decide what combo you're going to do are the damage or, uh, you know, wake-ups or whatever. The, the reward, let's call it reward. The reward versus, uh, yeah, wall carry can go into that too. Let's just call all those things the reward, right? So it's the reward versus the difficulty in which the combo is to complete in the clutch. That's what kind of determines what combos are done. Now, different players choose different combos because some people have better clutch than others, right? So it's really based on the person. And that's one of the open-ended parts of Tekken 7, or Tekken in general. That's what makes people's, like, you know, there are Spirogen combos, and there are, there are combos that you can pretty much name after people because it's like, that's what they do, that's what they're most comfortable with, and that's what they win with. So uh, it's really not about whether or not your combo is optimal or anything. It's more about whether or not you think you can hit your combo in the right situation. And that's it. Uh, yeah, that's that, how to tell if it's optimal. Usually the word optimal, quote unquote, is re closely related to damage. So the maximum amount of damage you can get plus other scenarios like wake ups, wall carry whatever optimal usually means damage usually uh anyway that's so easy you used to have to crouch cancel Hard to do, 67. Oops. How much is that? 72? Damn, that's a grip. Is that max damage? I think I just did max damage with 72. 65 if you do the easy combo. 72 is a shitload. While standing four into four four one, is that like that? While standing four into four four one combo, oh, like this? I see. Seventy-four. So that's max damage. Wall standing four, down forward four, three, forward one, two, and then you gotta hit that tight forward forward one. Very hard to do. Very satisfying to hit though, that's for sure. Mm, could you ever do the hard combo? I wouldn't do it. Honestly, I mean, there are people that I've seen that do this shit in tournament, but it doesn't, to me, feel like it's worth the damage. You, If you fuck that part up, see, the thing is, you have to not only look at it as how hard is the combo to do, but you also have to look at what the reward is for the attempt versus what you'll lose if you drop it. You lose quite a bit if you miss the end of, like if you miss the end of Dragon Off's combo, 
who cares, right? It's not like you're getting anything super great. But if you miss the end of a cane combo, it's like a catastrophe. Because the end of the combo is the most important part. It's the most damage, it's the most wall carry, and it gives you the Okazumi. So, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. You only get 5 points in most situations. In that situation off of this, what are we talking? Uh, it was like 10 points here, right? 65 versus 74, so 9 points. 9 points is... Well... What does 9 points? This does 8 points. That's 1 point less damage than what you're sacrificing there. Look at that amount of damage. Look at it. Make eye contact with that right there. 8 points. And let's go up. This is 10 points damage. So this is 10 points damage. You're giving up your wake-ups, your wall carry, everything. You're giving up over 19 points damage if you drop it. All that shit for that amount of damage. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Right now, I don't think so. 19 points damage. It is a better combo, and if you're good, you should do it, but for me, I don't know. The risk-reward seems way too, uh, way too off, you know? Eight points can be the difference between killing and a comeback, though. Well, I mean, look, I, you know, that's definitely obvious. Needless to say that this is, though it looks like not a lot of damage, over the course of a hundred games, if you're hitting the combo, that's a lot of damage. But, you know, the combo is very tight. It's a very tight combo. I'm thinking of it in terms of probability. And even in a comeback situation, I'd rather hit with that wake up than I would with the max damage potentially dropping it. I don't know. It's different strokes, that's what makes Tekken so cool. Everyone sees it differently, you know? It's like a Eye of the Beholder Thank game. You.